as I do these videos, I realize that my toolbars might look slightly different than yours. When you're following a cross, you realize, hmm, wait a, wait a second, I don't have this icon here. Um, how do I get that there? If Stacy describes it and it sounds like something I want, what would I do? So this is a little troubleshooting video so that you can get your toolbars to look like mine or customize them the way you would like yours to look. If you take and hover your mouse over a blank part of your toolbar at the top and do a right click, you will get this customized toolbar option. Now, if there's something that's useful here to you, for instance, clear ink, I have drag, you just simply click on it and you just drag it up into an empty spot. I've already dragged clear ink onto my board and so that's something that I find useful. If I wanted to add, let's say this copy one, I don't think I have this one, so I can click it and I can drag it into a spot. Okay, anywhere, anytime it highlights blue, then you can drag it there. So I can drag it right here, and now I have the copy button. There are add-ons that you can drag up for alignment, um, concept mapping, and different uh, GeoGebra, etc. that we'll describe in future videos. And there's also different tools that you can drag and, highlight and add to your own toolbar. Okay, so if, if there is no empty boxes, I can just hover in the middle and it will create a box for me. So now I have a highlighter ready-made instead of having to click somewhere else to get it. So that is how you customize your toolbar so that you will look like mine. If I'm describing something that you can't find, you may need to do a right click and find it and add it to your own toolbar.